Hello. Beautiful flowers. Japanese orchids are beautiful flowers. And this is not just emotions, because this is kalante. And kalante in the direct translation from Greek means beautiful flowers. So this is a beautiful orchid flowers on the very west of Honshu Island, flowering on end of April. So today is April 22nd. Kalante, or these beautiful flowers, is one of the biggest genus of orchids occurring in Asia. So very typical for forests, for example, of Borneo. Mostly tropical, as you understand. And this one is also tropical by origin, but adapted here to grow in a very well temperate, like warm temperate, not even fully subtropical climate. You can see that winter leaves, because Kalanta is of course evergreen, winter leaves are now laying on the ground and young shoots, young shoots start to develop and from the young leaves the new inflorescence will appear and so Kalanta start immediately, it will develop both new leaves and also flowers. Well, very nice, well kind of weak but very good order of the flowers and really attractive color make Kalanta visible to pollinators and as most of orchids it will flower for the long time it will guarantee that some specialized pollinators because orchids are always kind of prefer just one kind of pollinator so specialized pollinators will finally see it visit it visit actually not one but several plants because plants need cross pollination and flowers will be pollinated and produce it well, very interesting orchid seeds, which are kind of dust-like. So that dust seeds, even with a small wind, will distribute themselves in the forest floor. And in Eucalante, the development of orchids is very slow because it is related with fungus. All orchids are in a constant symbiosis with soil fungi. So development of seed is long because it will need to find a fungus, but even if find it, well, development start to speed up and we finally, after some time, will see new orchid plant. Kalante is terrestrial genus, but originated likely from the epiphytic one, because you can see flowers are resupinated, kind of they rotated. 180 degrees so when flowers are hanging from the tree the leaf will go down but if plant is growing from the soil it will need the leaf in the same position so flowers will turn around 180 degrees which will make pollinators some place to sit and when pollinators will actually go to the flower and sit on that leaf it will search for the nectar there is a short spore which well at least will provide pollinators with some idea that nectar should be searched there because some orchids are deceivers they don't have any nectar in the spore pollinators still come here and try to find it without success but meanwhile will pollinate orchids one of reasons why orchids are flowering so long if you are well cheating you need to wait for a very long time for that kind of customer will which will trust you anyway so orchids will provide some many orchids will provide some nectar and these pollinators will come into the spore and then the actually back of pollinator typically insect will touch that very interesting structure you can see that in the flowers of Kalante, like some beak that beak is a genostemium the so genus stemium of orchid is amazing thing because it consists of both male and female structures of pistil and stamen together. Structure is very tightly regulated, you understand, but that allows plants to control the pollination very tightly. So this is pollination of orchid in a short words. Actually, the question is much broader. Kalanta is frequently cultivated in greenhouses and that species in other species of Kalante a big attraction of Japanese forest in the springtime. And again, the beautiful yellow flowers of Kalante on a cryptomeria forest of West Honshu in the end of April. Thank you very much.